data handling, circle graph or pie chart. Have you seen a circle graph? It looks like a round cake with slices made from the center. More like the pizza you get in a box, isn't it? Well, the mathematicians of long ago decided this looked like a pie. Do you know what a pie is? It's a baked dish with a covering on top, usually made in a round tin. It's more of a thing in the western countries. Anyway, this graph is also called a pie chart. Pie chart They are very easy to read and so you'll find them in many places. They very quickly give you a comparative analysis. With a few minor calculations, they are also very easy to draw. Let's understand how to read the graph. Look at this pie chart. It shows the kinds of pets that people have. Looking at this, you quickly get an idea that dogs are the most popular pets as more than half of the people have them. In the pie chart, the value is 55%. You can also see that rodents are the least popular pets. In the pie chart, the value is 4%. What do these percentages signify? 30% pet owners have cats as pets. It means if data of 100 pet owners was collected, then 30 of those have cats as pets. So look at all the percentages in the chart. 55% plus 30% plus 6% plus 5% plus 4% is equal to 100%. So, when we add up all the percentages, it has to be 100%. That is a full circle. Look at this pie chart. The people working in a software company were asked what activities they like to do on a weekend. Their answers were put in a pie chart. Look at the chart and answer the questions. Which is the most popular activity? Walking. What ranking does golf have in terms of popularity? It is the fourth most popular activity. If there are 540 people in the company who were surveyed to collect this data, how many actually like to walk on weekends? Now, you can see in the pie chart that 40% of 540 people like to walk on weekends. 40% of 540 is equal to 40 upon 100 into 540. Cross out the zeros and we get 4 into 54 which is equal to 216 people. Therefore, we say that out of 540 people, 216 people like to walk on weekends. If 57 people actually like to play golf on weekends, then how many people were surveyed in the company? You can see that 12% people like to play golf. Let the people in the company be P. Therefore, we can say 12% of P is equal to 57. We can write it as 12 upon 100 into P is equal to 57. Transpose 12 upon 100 to right hand side and we get P is equal to 57 into 100 upon 12. Simplify this and we get Nineteen into twenty five, which is equal to 
four hundred and seventy five. Therefore, four hundred and seventy five people were surveyed in the company. Look at this pie chart. It shows the number of students and the sport they have chosen. It is not given in percentages. It is in angles. What if you don't have percentages given to you in a pie chart but have angles instead? No problem. We can still find out all the information we need. Just like you know that percentages of a whole add up to 100%, you must know that all the angles around the center point of a circle add up to 360 degrees. Let's check this out. Add up all the angles. 36 degrees plus 40 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 80 degrees plus 144 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. So, when you know that, you can find out what percentage of students chose the sport. Can you find out what percentage of students chose the hockey? In the pie chart, you can see that the angle shown is of 60 degrees out of 360 degrees. We can write it as 60 degrees upon 360 degrees into 100. Simplify this and we get 16.66%. What percentage of students like tennis? The angle shown is of 40 degrees out of 360 degrees. So, we write it as 40 degrees upon 360 degrees into 100. Simplify this and we get 11.11% Look at the pie chart. In a library, there are 5,400 books in all. The proportion of books on history, geography, biology, mathematics, physics and chemistry available in the library is shown in the pie chart. Find the number of books in each subject. Now, we have to find the number of books in each subject. Remember, direct proportion and cross multiplication will help you out in many, many situations. This is one more. Let's understand the logic so the calculations are not a big deal. Let's find out the number of physics books in the library. The angle of physics is 60 degrees out of the total of 360 degrees. We have to find the number of physics books out of the total of 5400. Let's set up the table and then the cross. Wasn't that easy? You didn't have to remember formulas or anything. Let's find out the number of maths books in the library. We have to find the number of math books. The angle of math is 90 degrees out of the total of 360 degrees. So we have to find the number of math books out of the total of 5400. Let's set up the table and then the cross multiplication. That's easy. By cross multiplication we get 90 into 5400 divided by 360. Now we simplify this to get the answer. And we get 1350. That is, there are 1350 mathematics books. Let's find out the number of biology books in the library. The angle of biology is 35 degrees. So, we have to find the number of biology books out of the total of 5400. Let's set up the table and then the cross multiplication. That's easy. By cross multiplication, we get 35 into 5400 divided by 360. Now, we simplify this to get the answer and we get 525. That is, 
there are 525 biology books. This way, you can easily find out the quantity of all the books. Once you know all this, drawing a pie chart shouldn't be too tough. Let's try this out. The number of hours spent by a student on various activities on a school working day are given in a table. Represent the data using a pie chart. We are going to represent the split of the hours in the pie chart, right? So, add up all the hours first. 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 24 hours. That means the entire circle represents 24 hours. School is for 6 hours out of 24 hours. So, what angle out of 360 will it be? Next, we have commuting, which is 2 hours out of 24 hours. So, we have to find what angle it would be. Homework is for 4 hours. What angle will it be? 4 hours out of 24 hours. We write the cross multiplication. Simplify it and we get the angle of 60 degrees. Playing is also for 4 hours. 4 hours out of 24. So again, the angle will be the same as homework. Then, we are left with sleeping, which is for 8 hours. Calculate the angle. How can you check whether your answer is correct? Just add up all the angles. What do you get? 90 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 120 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. If all the angles add up to 360 degrees, then you are absolutely right in your calculations and planning. Taking a suitable radius, draw a circle. Mark the center and draw a radius which we will use as a base. Corresponding angle for school section is 90 degrees. Mark 90 degrees. So, draw an angle of 90 degrees on this radius. The section that is formed is for school. Give it a pattern or a colour and mark it in the legend. Angle corresponding to commuting is 30 degrees. So, draw an angle of 30 degrees on the last line we drew. That gives us the section for commuting. Give it a pattern or a colour and mark it in the legend. Next, homework section is 60 degrees. So, draw an angle of 60 degrees on the last line we drew. That gives us the section for homework. Give it a pattern or a colour and mark it in the legend. Angle corresponding to playing is the same as homework section. So, draw an angle of 60 degrees on the last line we drew. That gives us the section for playing. Give it a pattern or a colour and mark it in the legend. Last corresponding angle to sleeping is 120 degrees. So, draw an angle of 120 degrees on the last line we drew. That gives us the section for sleeping. Since this is the last category, you should have filled up the whole circle. If you have, that means your pie chart is correct. Now, give this last section a pattern or a colour and mark it on the legend. So, that completes your pie chart. 
Rohan had his birthday celebration at an ice cream parlor. The data as given is of the different flavors of ice cream chosen by his friends. Represent the data on a pie chart and shade the flavors in appropriate colors. So let's add up the number of friends. 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 18. Let's find the angle for the section for each flavor now. We'll add a column called angle to the table and write it there as we calculate so that it's easy to draw it later. Calculate the angle for chocolate. There are 6 friends out of 18. Write it using cross multiplication, simplify it and we get the angle 120 degrees. Calculate the angle for pista. There are 4 friends out of 18. Write it using cross multiplication, simplify it and we get the angle 80 degrees. Calculate the angle for mango. There are 3 friends out of 18. Write it using cross multiplication. Simplify it and we get the angle 60 degrees. Strawberry is the same as mango. So that angle is 60 degrees. Calculate the angle for grape. There are 2 friends out of 18. Write it using cross multiplication. Simplify it and we get the angle 40 degrees. How can you check whether your answer is correct? Just add up all the angles. What do you get? 120 degrees plus 80 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. If all the angles add up to 360 degrees, then you're absolutely right in your calculations and planning. Now, you can quickly draw the pie chart. Make sure you write the angles and the names of the sections too. Did you understand the circle graph or pie chart? Yes! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.